foldables new and improved. Let's be real. The rectangular design of the quintessential smartphone is getting stale for lots of people, including this grain gadget reviewer. That's why the next phone I buy won't be another same same iteration of the iPhone. It will be a foldable, a phone with a bendable display that flips open like a book to increase its screen size and close up to fit in my pocket. Those folding phones from companies like Samsung, Motorola, and Huawei have been getting birds since their debut in 2019, thanks to their novel design. But they remained niche because of issues with the software and durability, and at upward of $1,500, they were too expensive. A shift is underway. The devices keep getting better and some are becoming cheaper. IDC, the research firm, predicts that hand handset makers will ship 25 million foldable phones this year, up nearly 40% from last year. After testing two different sizes of foldables that arrived in stores this summer, Motorola small $700 Lazra and Google's Jumbo $1,800 Pixel 9 Pro Fold. I'm convinced that phones with bendable screens will become mainstream in the next few years. Both devices demonstrate that bendable screens are no gimmick. They can become even more useful than a traditional smartphone. Above all, they are more than adequate devices for those wanting to try something different. Here's one you need to know about the new devices. Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold Google's Pixel 9 Pro Fold is the successor to last year's Pixel Fold, which I called one of the most impressive pieces of technology of the year. The Pixel Foldable caters to the opposite end of the spectrum from the larger. It's a product for people who can't get enough screen. When the Pixel is folded, its outer screen measures 6.3 inches di diagonally. That's roughly the same as your standard iPhone screen, so it works like any smartphone. But when you unfold it, things get more exciting. Bottom line, between the two types of foldables, I'd recommend the larger because it's, it's more practical in terms of size and the cost, and is cheaper than flagship smartphones from Apple and Samsung. So why, you might ask, haven't I converted to a foldable already? The simple reason is that I have a personal preference for the iPhone software system, and I'm holding out for the foldable one. There's hope yet that this will happen. Apple has been developing a foldable iPad, according to an Apple employee who claims to have seen a prototype of the tablet that could pave the way for an iPhone with a bendable screen. Apple declined to the comment. I for one love my iPad for reading articles and watching videos, but when I'm on the go, the tablet is usually left at home. I dream of the day that our big, bright screens can fold up so we can carry them everywhere. That future feels inevitable.